Okay, I feel like I owe you a big apology. I'm not exactly sure what happened um, with my pages. And um, even though they had the page numbers here, somehow they got mixed up. And I thought that the packet I had was in order, wasn't paying attention, and realized that. So I apologize for some jumping around, going back and forth. Um, between arithmetic and geometry, but because we started the geometry, let's just go ahead and finish that out. So on page 242 and um, 241, 241 and 242, um, it's really just them checking um, where they're at. Um, Go ahead and pause on page 241, but since we've just um, finished a series, uh, several pages of um, um, geometric shapes and figures, um, I want you to do page 242 um, and have them do this without any prompting or help from you. Um, there's not a lot for them to complete here, but they're going to use the picture these pictures to complete these questions. So they're gonna look at these pictures. Um, I always, before I jump into the questions, like I wanna make sure that they just know what it is that they're looking at. So often in the classroom, even you know, um, if we're reviewing material, before we just start asking away at the questions, you know, have them go through, you know, and, and share what they, what they know, what do they see? Well, you know, um, can they see what a sphere is and have them point to a sphere? What is a three-dimensional object that they see? What is considered a one-dimensional object? Um, do they see a cube? Um, and just have them recognize and, and share the shapes and what it is and maybe an attribute of what they see in the picture first before they even go down to the question. Because this way... They're already exercising their prior knowledge of what they've learned before, and then it's less likely that they're going to need your help, and I don't really want your you to help them to answer these questions. You may have to help them read the question, but, um, you know, how many cubes are there? Let them figure that out. How many flat shapes are there? How many spheres are there? How many triangles are there? And how many solid shapes are there? So if they've already gone through this with you before getting to the questions, then when they answer the questions, they really are exercising themselves of what they know. Um, so for today, besides the um, 3D shapes where they're gluing um, the shapes to the page and this, this is all I'm going to have you do for math.